Um, Good afternoon, everyone. We have incredible students here to um, congratulate for your amazing honors. We have some department heads here with us. We have some of your teachers. I see Mrs. Kenny. We have your um, guidance counselors here. We are really proud of you, even in the midst of a tornado warning. <laughs> we are so proud and delighted to um, bestow upon you these wonderful awards. You exemplify the best of what it means to be a Clipper here in Falmouth. And we congratulate you and are so proud of you. Thank you, Mrs. Gans. Um, I'm Mr. Kazarian, the guidance director. We're happy to welcome you. And as Ms. Gans said, to congratulate you. These are a series of awards that have been um, given to the guidance office since last spring when you were juniors and so forth. And um, these are a timely process of delivering them at this time so that um, you can add them to your transcripts, to your college applications and so forth. So we're excited to do that with you. We also um, want to get your pictures so that we can add them for yearbook so that we can add them to wherever else um, um, we publicize, maybe on the, on the school webpage or Facebook or whatever. But um, the way the process will work is there's a series of awards. After the awards, we're gonna ask everyone to block out their camera except the person receiving the award so that Ms. Dowling can take that student's picture, okay? So after um, we read the award description, if everybody could black out their, themselves and accept the person whose picture is to be taken. Um, and that's how we'll proceed. So our very first award is from the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents. Siobhan Morris is congratulated for recently receiving the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents Award for overall academic excellence. Siobhan was presented the award by our superintendent, Dr. Durer, at an October school committee meeting. We wanna congratulate Siobhan Morris. So if everybody could Block out their picture for a moment, and then let's just take a picture of Siobhan. Miss Dowling, just give me a heads up when you're all set. We're good to go. Thank you. This next award are called AP Scholars. These next couple of categories of academic recognition are based on exceptional student performance on the advanced placement exams. The first group to be recognized are AP Scholars. These students earned a score of three or higher on three or more advanced placement exams. Congratulations go to the following students. Nora Deo, Samuel D. Pasquale, Benjamin Holman, Georgia Lavery Van Paris, Gerald Mahoney, Jack Richardson, and Christian Ryan. So if all those students could please click on their camera so we can take your picture, we appreciate it. All right, we're good. Thank you. The next award is called AP Scholar with Distinction. This next AP award is called AP Scholar with Distinction. This is granted to students who receive a score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more exams. We are very proud to recognize two seniors who have been identified as AP Scholars with Distinction Award. They are Siobhan Morris and Katrina Wilson. If they could both turn on their cameras for a picture. Yeah. 
And we're all set. Thank you. The Heisman School winner. Each year, the Heisman Award is offered to high school seniors who share the values of giving back to their communities, treating people with respect, continuing education, and excelling on the athletic field. This year, Falmouth High School is proud to recognize the following school award winner, Catherine Cohn. Congratulations, Catherine. If you could please turn on your camera so we could take your picture. All right. Thank you. The Good Citizen Award. Our next recognition is part of a scholarship program offered by the Cape Cod chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. This senior student was selected based on qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. The Good Citizen Award for the class of 2021 is proudly presented to Nicholas, Nicholas Dreyer. Nicholas, please turn on your camera. So our picture, thank you. I'm not sure we have Nick in the list. Okay. The J. Lim Foundation Awards were established at Falmouth High School in 2015. J. Lim is a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. and is also a North Falmouth summer resident. As a longtime resident, it's Mr. Lim's desire to give something back to the town through these student awards. His foundation is pleased to offer two awards to the top math and the top science student at the end of their junior year. In addition, each student's name has been added to a plaque in the main office, and they will also receive an individual plaque in the guidance office. The recipient of the top math three-year student award is Siobhan Morris, and the recipient of the Top Science Three-Year Student Award is Katrina Wilson. If Siobhan and Katrina could please turn on the camera for a picture, we appreciate it. All right, we are all set. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. St. Julian for the next award presentation. We have the top 10 student ranks. This next group of students is truly worthy of recognition for their outstanding three years academic performance in all classes taken. These students are identified as being ranked in the top 10 of the class of 2021. In alphabetical order, they are Brooke Bellinger, Nora Deo, Aaron Fury, Benjamin Ahoman, Georgia Lavery Van Paris, Siobhan Morris, Zachary Morris, Braden Swain, Nicholas uh, Waverton, and Katrina Wilson. That's the top 10. Waverton. Sorry, Nicholas. Wathia. Oh, Nick Wathia. Wow. Sorry, sorry. It's if, if, if those 10 students could please turn on their camera for a picture, we appreciate it. My camera doesn't work. Oh, okay. We'll get you in school or somewhere. Who we'll, get it? A, we'll get a picture of you, Nicholas, otherwise. Yeah, oh, Nicholas. Could we have everyone who's not getting their picture taken turn their camera off, please? Thank you, Mr. K. I'd like to introduce Mr. McMenamin, who will introduce the next couple of awards. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me today. Uh, I'm really pleased to congratulate the next group of students for their three years of academic achievement. These 10 students have earned the highest cumulative grade point average for the class of 2021. 
and in alphabetical order, they are Catherine Cohn, Nora Deo, Timothy Lang, Abigail Morris, Bronwyn Morris, Siobhan Morris, Zach Morris, Abigail Roman, Sarah Walsh, and Katrina Wilson. So if you could all turn your cameras on, congratulations, everybody. You all set, Mr. Webb? We're good, thank you. All right, you are all very good at holding smiling faces for pictures on Zoom, I will say that as well. Um, the next award is the John and Abigail Adams Scholarships. Back in the spring of 2019, seniors took their MCAS exams. Based on student performance, the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship is offered to seniors who plan to further their education at a Massachusetts State College or university. The requirement for this scholarship is a student score of advanced or proficient on grade 10 MCAS tests and having a combined score that places students in the top 25% of test takers at their school. FHS is proud to present the John and Abigail Adams scholarship to 53 students from the class of 2021. The guidance counselors will read the award winners from their caseloads. We congratulate all of the seniors who earned this, this scholarship. An informational letter will be mailed home to you following the ceremony. And uh, we will begin by turning things over to Mrs. Brooks. Thank you, Mr. Mack. I would like to congratulate my students who earned the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. And they are Andrew Belinsky, Catherine Cohn, Nora Deo, Riley Duart, Vincent Duffany, Kiana Fisk, Trevor Hodgson, Benjamin Homan, Kaylee Jackson, Bobby Lester, Thaddeus Lincoln, Jasmine Moran, Matthew Pease, Dylan Pine, Kayla Reardon, and Katrina Wilson. I'd like to ask that this group of students turn on their video for a picture while the others turn off your picture, please. Got some smart kids here. Congratulations, guys. Mrs. Brooks, do you mind turning off your camera? Oh, you don't want my picture? Sorry. <laughs> All right, we're all set, thanks. Okay, and I would like to introduce Mr. Lawson to read the names of his student recipients. Thank you, Ms. Brooks. I would like to congratulate my students who earned the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. They are Kellen Brogan, Nathan Shabarbi, Samuel De Pasquale, Rowan Gallant, Maxwell Gorell, Kaylin Hewen, Malia Jablecki, Austin Lewis, Eamon McKilligan, Madison Mahoney, Thomas McCauley, Catherine McGann, Lily Medeiros, Abigail Morris, Zachariah Morris, Matthew Murphy, Clifford Palmer, Henry Peters, Abigail Roman, Kevin Shea, Philippe Torjon, Samuel Warner, and Isaac Williamson. I would like to ask this group of students to please turn their video on while the others turn off their picture. Thank you. Okay, I 
would now like to introduce Ms. Payne to read the names of her student recipients. Thank you, Mr. Lawson. I'd like to congratulate my students who earned the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. They are Timothy Lang, Georgia Lavery Von Paris, Catherine McGuire, Siobhan Morris, Dario Palanza, Kaylee Rolston, Christian Ryan, and Sarah Walsh. If you could all turn your video on for the photo, please, while everyone else has their video off. Thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Ruthven to read the names of her student recipients. Thank you, Ms. Payne. I would like to congratulate my students who earned the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. They are Nicholas Dreyer, Anna Falcone, Aaron Fury, Emily Gallagher, Nicholas Wathier, and Amy Zmuda. I would like to ask this group of students to please turn their video on while others turn theirs off. Thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Durr, our superintendent of Falmouth Public Schools to offer her congratulations. for your excellence in academic performance and outstanding citizenship. Achievement is something accomplished, especially by superior ability, special effort, great courage, or deed. Robert Kennedy said, only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. In Falmouth Public Schools, we have been striving to teach students a growth mindset. Many of your achievements come about simply because of being smart or skilled. However, there will be times you will meet a challenge that may make you pause and think about your ability to overcome the challenge to succeed. It is at these times the growth mindset will help you persevere through a challenge and see initial failures, not as evidence of unintelligence, but as a heartening springboard for growth and for stretching your existing abilities. For when we try and not afraid to fail, we will see just how much we can learn and ultimately achieve. Be proud of your accomplishments. Never let anything get in your way of trying and succeeding. Please know we are very proud of you for your outstanding work and for your recognitions here today. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Dr. Dewar. Thank you very much to all the students and congratulations on our mini awards ceremony in school. I'd like to ask that um, following students stop in the guidance office when they're in school to pick up their, some awards, Catherine Cohn, Siobhan Morris, and Katrina Wilson. Also, all of the students who earned the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship, we will mail them out to you today. So you should have them by the end of the week. And we'll give you information for applying for the scholarship if you plan to apply to Massachusetts, Massachusetts Public um, College or University. So again, I wanna thank you all for your participation in this event. This concludes our ceremony. So I say goodbye to you. And I'm going to ask the guidance counselors if they could please remain. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, everyone. We're so proud of you, and you should be proud of yourselves. Woohoo!